Hey guys, me again. I know, wow. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be talking about uh, lighting and the problems and things that we need to think about uh, concerning lighting during the filming of our opening sequence. Now, because we will be filming uh, the whole of our opening sequence in a, in a house, uh, this means that we'll need to uh, be very wary of something called uh, ambient light. Now, ambient light is uh, what most light bulbs in common household um, homes use, and instead of the type of light that it gives that uh, that would give off a natural light, such as the light that I'm using here, and I'll show you that in a second, it actually has a, a slightly yellow uh, orangey hue, which uh, makes uh, it feel well, makes the area seem a bit darker, and you know. Uh, doesn't uh, give natural lighting to sh you know to show how it would look during the day properly. Uh, so one way that we're going to tackle this is that we're going to get to uh, Ben's house early, so we can use as much um, natural light just from the light coming in from the windows as we possibly can. And the good thing about this is that um, uh, all the rooms that we've scouted out and looked at uh, in Ben's home, they have very very good access to. Uh, to natural light coming in through windows in pretty much all directions, so that's a big plus and that will help a lot. And also, if we do um, get to the point where we start filming uh, further on in the day, where it gets a bit darker, uh, we'd need to make sure that we'd uh, bring some studio lights with us, as um, as obviously if we just use the normal lights, it would create this uh, ambient light, which would um, make the footage look very different from the earlier scenes as we just want it to be one constant sort of time zone uh, so so yeah that's hopefully that we're gonna make sure that we get there early in time for all the filming to be done and obviously and obviously um, it's gonna be a two-day shooting so this will allow us to have two mornings so effectively we should have more than enough time to film what we need to film and um, so yeah, basically the whole point in lighting or whatever, why it's so important, is the fact that uh, it really, really helps to decide the, the tone of 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 the scene and what's going on. So say if uh, you had a night scene uh, um, in a really uh, big horror film, you can't just have it completely pitch black all the time, as obviously the viewers aren't going to see anything. But you could add this uh, ambient light to give. Uh, as it really gives quite deep shadows, and you know, it'll make you really focus on the person's uh, the person's face or an object within the room. Whereas if it's uh, earlier on in the film, and the uh, people who like the producers uh, and directors wanted it to be uh, very calming at the start and sort of lead the character into all the things that are going to happen. Uh, they use as much natural light as they possibly could because with natural light it creates the feel of you know happiness and that, you know that everything's okay and it's very calming then obviously as the film progresses they can then start to change the lighting which will let the viewers know that you know something's changing the mood wasn't quite once what it was and so on and uh, so this isn't really the case for our opening sequence as throughout the whole of it we'd like to use as much um, natural light as we possibly can uh, but yeah so as we are going to focus on more uh, shots of the attacker uh, being just around Ben and not really confronting Ben throughout the pretty much throughout the whole of our opening sequence so we're going to make it seem that to Ben's character uh, he's just having a bit of a normal day and some things just aren't going how they would uh, or whatever, or he thinks that he might have, you know, left uh, uh, the TV on, or turned the radio on, or it just played by accident, and so on. Whereas actually, the viewer will be able to see that um, past all, you know, the uh, the natural lighting making uh, Ben's character seem that everything's fine and he's just having a bit of a weird day. That uh, it's actually my character that I play of the attacker that is, you know, going around and changing um, all of these uh, different aspects, and you know, turning. He's the one that's turning on the TV. He's the one that's turning on the radio. He's the one that's walking past him, 
uh, uh, you know, just a split second before Matt could realise, you know, just out, just out of eye shot and stuff. As uh, you'll see, hopefully, uh, in our opening sequence, I'll be walking around in the, I'll be walking around in the background, you know, and just to make it seem a bit more mysterious and whatnot. So uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for lighting. So thank you for watching. Just another thing to add. I just want to show you the type of setup that a studio light is. Now, as you can see, it's a very bright white light, whereas the ambient light is very orangey. So, and then this is what a studio lamp would look like, you know, nice box head with a sort of uh, shiny, I know you can't see that well because of the light, but as you can see, it's sort of a shiny sort of tin foil, tin foil look, which uh, really helps concentrate concentrate the light onto one specific area and you know as you can see it's very uh, uh, nice and white and if I turn it off uh, you should be able to as you can see well instantly it's darker and um, and then as you can see at the very bottom here uh, you can see that there's a slight uh, whiter patch uh, from the from the windows so by using the studio lights we get a much more even uh, natural light over the uh, over the whole shot so yeah, thank you for watching.